What if an account was logged in for seven days straight? No downtime, no breaks, just grinds. And what if I said that the account's sole objective was to fight to the death against another account with the same exact goal? Each team will consist of five people, and they will all share only one account. Upon the account's creation, they will have exactly 168 hours to push the limits of a new account, creating any build that they desire. At the end of the time limit, both teams will fight to the death, and a winner will be crowned. Welcome to Then We Fight, the movie. Before we get into the video, let's talk about today's sponsor, ExpressVPN. Too many times I hear about people getting spontaneously hacked online and are left completely clueless on how it happened. One likely reason could be because they left themselves vulnerable online with an unencrypted internet connection. So what if I told you ExpressVPN acts as a barrier, blocking out people with malicious intent? Your data remains completely encrypted and gets rerouted to any server location that you choose from. This means you can browse the internet, making it much more difficult for big companies to harvest your data for their personal gain. It means not only can you get access to different shows on streaming platforms by simply changing your location, but you can also even get discounts on services like Netflix just by changing your location when signing up. Security is very important to me on the internet because my entire job is based off of it, so be safe and take the necessary precautions before it becomes an issue. So if ExpressVPN is something you are interested in, find out how you can get three months free by clicking the link down in the description. That's expressvpn.com slash rarg. Thanks once again for ExpressVPN for sponsoring today's video. So there's gonna be two teams of five and cringe name alert, cause they're all really bad. I mean like really bad, like you kinda wanna grit your teeth when you hear it and go, Ah, like that's cringe. But on, on one team, we have the Mauritanian Mole Rats, which consist of Bailey, Robin, Blue, Hurdy, and Ben. And they will be going up against another team of five, the Missile and Moo Cows. Could they Kodarashi for that name, probably. He loves cows, oddly enough. But that team consists of Kodarashi, Jumbo Jim, Mana Burn, Nevaker, and Wild Brookies. So, guys, Let's go meet the team. They're going to have seven days. They planned it all out. Let's go hop in a call with them and see what they have to say for their starting plan. And crush that like button, please. Thank you. Most of, the, most of the main goals are pretty much just getting some early levels, rushing through quests so that we can kind of beat the early game. And then from there, we can start focusing on a couple of key items just to like really round out an account. You know, you, you got you got to get to it. Uh, you know, Dragon Scimitar, Rune Crossbow, maybe some Dragonstone Bolty depending on the timing. Uh, Flying boots are also something we're definitely going to be getting early on just because there is zero chance we're going to be getting any kind of rune boots or dragon boots so this is pretty oh, much yeah. the best thing. We're we also... have also, we're also early on, our big plan is streak right for 43 prayer. We're going to be doing restless ghost. We might not be doing priest in peril just because getting 50 rune essence is a pain in the ass. But we're going to be, our plan is going to the boneyard, picking up big bones, running to the chaos altar, and doing that until 50, 43 prayer. And once we have 43 prayer, it makes a couple of quests like waterfall a lot easier and quicker. And that way we get the yeah. quick melee levels, quick HP experience, get some more combat in there. Mm -hmm. We can do so sense. many of the big XP quests just with having protect from melee and stuff like that. Exactly. Yeah. We can streak right for 40s and melee stats, have rune, and be set up for actually doing stuff that gets us money, gets us forward progress. We're also, I think, going to look to go for Barbarian Assault just to get the, the granite body, uh, if everyone remembers. Oh god, but... the granite body. Don't talk to me about the granite body. <laughs> <laughs> you love the granite body. <laughs> Fucking hate. I hope you guys lose. Jeez. <laughs> granite body. Um... Oh, now we have to win. <laughs> I think we have to. But it's honestly, I think, going to be a lot of questing for us, um, for the goals that we have in mind. Um, but honestly, I'm just here to kick names and take ass, and we are going to win. So I'll just leave it at that. Oh, I think we're definitely going to win. Wow. You know, we the other team it. might as well give up now. Yeah. But like, just it's just us in the video, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I think if we want to go for some magic, I think the best plan is probably try and get Arceus' favor. 
maybe have a midway goal of trying to get desert treasure, but I think another good way of trying to get this account going is maybe like a bone crossbow. If there's any mindless skilling grinds to knock out, I'm just going to get those knocked out. But once we can get a little further along, maybe get some prayer potions, uh, some decent food, then I think I'll be able to contribute with, uh, with some PVM. Um, I do really want to try and take this account to Chambers of Zarek. I think that a, uh, a Dragon Claw drop or maybe a Din's Bulwark drop is very possible. I, I'd assume that we're going to have to be uh, real careful with our prayer trying to get Barrow's gear if we can make it that far. Huh. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm pretty comfortable in the wilderness. Um, so I can, I can do a lot of that content as well. And then I'll, I'm also planning on doing a good bit of LMS. Uh, my, my kind of goal is to flush out some of our extra skills like crafting, mining, smithing, maybe tackle some herb lore if I have time. Just kind of open up different avenues for us to approach. AFK Woodcut and Fire Make to get us the requirements for Desert Treasure. I think ultimately that'll be my main goal is getting all the skills required and trying to get most of the quests done for us to be able to do Desert Treasure. It sounds like we want to use Ancients. So what is the end gear going to look like for you guys? Or what's what goal are you guys going to go for? So we just talked about it and we got the green light that uh, utilizing freezing spells and magic like entangles or ice spells and things like that is going to be all right. So uh, I think that's going to be a big part of our, our game. Um, if we can get any uh, Aram's pieces from Barrows, uh, definitely if we can get Desert Treasure done and be able to ice blitz, that would be a big one. Um, and aside from that, I think just the best food and and having having a good tank switch if we can get some tank legs from barrows uh if we could get a crystal shield that would be huge so you guys are thinking of tribrid like like a tribrid setup in the final fight yeah so it, it depends on like what kind of gear and stats we can get uh but with with uh freezing on the table i think at least like a uh, magic hybrid is going to be a good play with range magic to range Magic to range or magic to melee, whatever we can get the best stats for, the best uh, the best tank gear for. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Space bar, space bar, space bar, space bar, space bar. Quest complete. First quest on the account. For cooking, man, it feels good. All right, so that is Merlin's Crystal done. Now we got six quest points and Excalibur. It took me quite a while to do, but you know what? Level up completed. Holy Grail completed. One more quest and then I'm off for tonight. That is a lot of player and defense. Awesome! Sweet! Easy Diary completed. An obnoxious grind, to be completely honest, but 43 prayers knocked out of the way. And now we're just going to go gather up some steel plate bodies for some cash before we actually start getting some of the levels we are questing. And with that, we have completed Merlin's Crystal, so we also have Holy Grail on the list, and as you may notice from my inventory, we're also looking at doing the Lost Tribe to try to get the Bone Crossbow. Mostly we've just been cleaning up a couple of quests like Vampire Slayer to get some combat XP. So as you can see, we've gotten up to 42 attack, 35 strength. And there we go. We'll be moving on to do Witch's House, Fight Arena, Tree Nine Village, just the usual sort of quests that give a whole ton of combat XP. And that makes Fight Arena done. More attack XP, bit of saving XP. Quick little update, we have just finished Witch's House, we're on our way to do Tree Nine Village, and we can now survive in a fight without being killed in one hit. Oh, and right, that amulet. Uh, there we go. Quest complete. Just a quick little update here. We have gone through the Priest and Barrel quest and also done Rune Mysteries just to get to that. Just so we can get a shark for the Fremnic Trials. So this may be the first 
easy casket obtained. Let's go ahead and open this up. It is, okay, well, not the greatest, but we'll take it. All right, and we have completed the Lost Tribe, which means that we can buy ourselves a Dorgish and Crossbow and about as many bone bolts as we can start with for now. All right, guys, we're logging in the Mortania Mole Rats after day one. Oh my god, they look like me. This is literally the... F they lost their hardcore status? Okay. Um, did some solid training. Some magic levels, attack strength, defense across the board. They've probably definitely done some quests. I don't know what they're up to right now. 40 quest points. Let's take a quick scroll through. Decent amount of free-to-play quests. Druidic Ritual not finished, but started. Fight Arena, Fremnic, tr Fremnic Trials done. They don't have the defense level. That's pretty insane. Okay. Lost Tribe. Okay, what's that? Is that Dorgans and Crossbow? We'll look in the bank in a sec. Nature Spirit started. Priest in Peril, of course. Trinome Village. Waterfall, Witch's House. Wow. And in the bank, there's the Dorkish and Crossbow. I love how they made a separate tab entirely for it. Um, a lot of rune daggers. I think, I mean, okay. Addy Longswords, they are definitely killing Zami Warriors. Did they get a rune scimitar? They haven't. Training some thieving. Got the Chronicle Silk for some thieving gains. You know, for day one, I'm I'm thoroughly impressed. I'm thoroughly impressed. We've just logged in on the Missilin Moo Cows. Their name is almost just as embarrassing as how they look. What the heck am I looking at? I see they've done the arty, at least the easy. 411 total level. It, it looks like they've done some quests. 33 magic, 29 prayer. They're very balanced. I... Just by looking at this, I, I couldn't really tell you what their plan was, aside from what they told us, of course. Let's take a look at the quest. 54 quest points. Okay. They have been doing lots of quests on the first day. Always a good sign. Quests don't really show too well on the skills. I mean, some do, of course, depending on the quests you do. Um, they are definitely getting some solid quests done that are needed. Recipe for Disaster, did they do anything aside from starting it? Uh, no, but I'm sure they're gonna get some sort of gloves here. Underground, they started Underground Pass. Okay, I mean, are we gonna see some Ibans? Maybe, I know they have a desert treasure plan, so I'm very excited to see that. But 54 quest points, very solid start, very solid start. Total level 411. 171k okay day one let's see if there's anything that really stands out to us looks like a lot of quest items a lot of miscellaneous stuff but overall solid progress solid progress okay i don't know what's actually getting this to 171k i'll be completely honest cat so they have done gertrude's cat might be going for some death runes possibly i mean also for rfd that's a very needed item right there 272 cakes okay all right maybe done some mining i mean they also have done plague city which also gives some mining i'll catch you guys on day two the fashion escape is unreal though a plus on that a plus on that so we officially have the arty that was a really bad angle, sorry. We officially have the Arty Cloak, which is great, great teleport. And I put the XP lamp in crafting and we gained a level, so yeah. And that is the Grand Tree quest done. So this sets us up to start Monkey Madness to eventually get a Dragon Scimitar for ourselves. Uh, and from there, we can go and start focusing on Underground Pass and making a little bit of money. And that right there is Dragon Slayer. Well, Dragon Slayer 1, 41 strength, 40 defense. Now we can actually use Rune. That is impressive. All right, so this is the uh, top tier content everybody really wants to see. This is going to play a big part in our final fight. I think if we can be extremely, extremely agile. 
uh, you know, really quick. It should be harder to click on us, so we should be able to avoid some damage in that way. To look like this, absolute beefcake. And to be able to move like this. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we got it in the bag. We're going to kill him with the quickness, kill him with the thickness. My guy's having way too much fun. Agility shouldn't be this fun. Somebody stop this man. We're going to need super restores, brews, and prayer potions. And we decided the best way to get all of those is to get grubby keys. And the best way to get grubby keys is to kill temple spiders. And the best way to kill temple spiders is chaining. And because we are a miserable, miserable Iron Man, we have to catch all of our own chins. So I'm just here, uh, you know, hanging out with my bird buddy, trying to get our hunter up so that we can start catching chins and throwing them at spiders and getting grubby keys and opening the chest. I was told to actually finish the quest, as in just talk to somebody. I don't know what quest it is. They were very vague. Okay, um, I mean, this is the only NPC here. Is it gonna be Monkey? I mean, it's gotta be Monkey Madness. If it was like Grand Tree. Oh my god, right. Wow, wow, okay. Uh, I did nothing to help this quest. I just wanna say that right now. Um, so they could also gain all this XP for finishing the quest. I won't do that, of course, because I'm not supposed to be playing on this account. But uh, let's look at the stats. So this is pre-XP Monkey Madness. Uh, melee stats up a lot more. These are a lot more balanced out. Magic is up. Their stats are a lot higher compared to yesterday. So it's been 24 more hours. The playtime, that, that's crazy. They, I mean, they pretty much played an extra day. They've had 24 hours and they've played 24 hours. That, that's insane. Um, 53 combat. Let's take a quick look at the quest. 64 quest points now. Um, Monkey Madness is complete. I'm gonna, I'm not gonna, like, dwell too much on the quests, but they definitely have a lot more done. We'll take a look at RFD real quick after we scroll through. Rest before disaster. Okay, they haven't done anything with that really yet. Let's take a quick look at the bank. And see if anything has changed in there. But very solid progress. 640 total level after two days and 64 quest points. All right, let's take a quick scroll through. Let's see if they got the rune simi they have. So they did kill more Zami warriors, I'm assuming. Rune battle axe. Only thing I can think of off the top of my head is possibly Ogres warriors. Um, okay, so they are, yeah, they're doing lots of quests. I didn't even realize the Slayer level 18 Slayer. I'm not sure what you get from the, was it poor sign of interest, if I'm saying that right? I probably fucking up the name. Doing some diaries. Okay. Okay. Uh, all right. I mean, is, I, <laughs> I think I know what they're going for here. You know, it, it's, it's kind of a no-brander to go for recoils in the fight. Um, you know, everybody who's playing is a veteran of PvP challenges. Strawberries. I imagine they brought strawberries in the fight. I mean, can't say they they haven't not worked in the past because they have, but um, that'd be a bold move. Um, I'm sure that's not what it's there for. Um, yeah, they're they're getting quests done. Account is looking solid, guys. Mauritania mole rats, a plus work. All right, guys, we are logged on to the Missilin Moo Cows. I had to walk over from Falconry, so that's what they were getting involved with. They've gotten over 200 total levels over the course of 24 hours. Melee stats have gone up a bit. It's looking like they're getting some quests done. Um, their magic has gone up significantly to 47 from 33. Their hunter, again, they were just doing falconry, so that's insane there. I wonder why they're doing that. I'm thinking maybe for their desert treasure plan, you know, um, I think it's the nature impling. You can get that, uh, that magic log, which is a very crucial item. Crafting going up a little bit. Thieving's much higher. Agility's much higher. And that, I mean, all their stats are a little higher, but those are definitely the big ones. So it looks like they are just bashing out a ton. Lost City is started. Recipe for Disaster. Did they get any more done with it? It doesn't look like it. I believe that was started yesterday. Yeah, these guys are grinding. Let's take a look at the bank real quick. 
And let's scroll up. Okay. Um, looks like a lot of quest items. Getting some diaries done. What is that? Beekeeper's legs. Um, I, I can't really see how their bank is 518k, to be honest. There might be something on the bottom here. Hmm, no. It's just, it's just a lot of collective junk. But it's a lot of quest items. And as we see, they are spending a lot of time on quests. Hey guys, Manaburn here. Just got done doing Death Plateau and securing my team the climbing boots, which at the moment is our final item slot for our boots. So that is one item from our final projected layout. All right, turning in the rogues person, we finally get some herb ward levels. Hey, and just like that, there is the weapon poison plus. Seven kills in. I think that's. I, I can't remember actually how rare it is. I think it's something like one in 32 or something, but I'm very glad we have that. Uh, I actually just got a hard clue scroll, so I'm excited to see if that's any good. Um, tell you what, yeah, let's back up for a second. We'll quickly read it. Uh, oh my god, wait, we can actually do that step. Okay. I have no idea if we are going to be able to complete it, but we will give it a go. Alrighty, we are going to attempt to finish off Underground Pass, and that will be getting us the Ibin Staff. Of course, we're going to need to make a little bit of money just to get this thing upgraded. So once we walk through this door, we will be in Xanaris, and that is Lost City completed. All right, so this is Ernest the Chicken completed, which is a prerequisite to Animal Magnetism, which will be next up on the list. So good to have this done. Oh, did it? Because I'm about to die. Okay, good. <laughs> Yay, there we go. All right, so for when we do come purchase the granite body, that is going to be, where is it at? 95K, ooh, we thought it was 85, 85. Day three. Dude, <laughs> the, in okay. The, the entire squad is here, what the fuck? <laughs> okay, yeah, I mean, they, they just hopped off. I mean, it looks like they are doing some barbarian assault. They are allowed to help with their mains. Um, wow, okay. Let's take a quick look at the stats here. Let's take a quick look at the stats. Now, they just finished Monkey Madness uh, when I hopped on yesterday, about a day ago. They didn't get the XP yet, though, of course. Um, so their melee stats are much higher. The range got up 13 levels, it looks like. HP is up. Agility up a little bit. Yeah, Slayer up a little bit. They are definitely getting some gains. Let's take a quick look at the bank. 1.2 million coins. Wow, 168k. I'm really curious to know what the heck they've been up to. Bank looks pretty normal. I mean, the fact that they're at Barbarian Assault leads me to believe they're either probably going for a granite plate body, which they did say they'd get, or the fighter torso. A lot of food on the account. Grubby keys. Wow. So they are going for the grubsters. Wow. Underground pass. We'll actually check the quests in a sec. And I... They got a granite shield. Wow. 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 83 quest points as well. Wow, guys. I'm, I'm going to hit him with the wow. Because I, I, feel, I feel so pressured. I feel so pressured to fucking record this quick. Because they're grinding. Dude, they are really... Really going at it here. Starting Fremnik Isles and everything. We'll do a quick little scroll through. Did they start RFD at all? They haven't yet. I see them rocking the clanky boys, the clank gauntlets. All right, Missile and Moo Cows, day three. We're end of day three, I should say. 87 quest points. We're going to take that look as always, see if anything really jumps out at us. Lost City is now complete. I believe that was started yesterday. Recipe for Disaster hasn't changed. I know Underground Pass was started. Okay, I was curious to see if they did it. They did not do that yet, but their quest points are still going up quite a bit. So if we take a quick look, we can actually see that they are bashing out some quests that you need for RFD. Fishing Contest, um, the Golem, and if I scroll through, I'm sure you can find another. I think 
uh, murder mysteries one, right? Yeah, I think it definitely is nature spirit. Okay, yeah, I mean, I could keep going through the list there, but 87 quest points looking very, very nice. Let's take a look at their stats. Their melee stats look pretty much the same. Defense went up a few levels. Their range is a lot higher. It was only five last time. Prayer's the same. 60 magic. Okay. That's what I like to see. I really want to see this DT plan come in because I, I, don't, I don't think the other team is going for Desert Treasure at all. Could be wrong, but this team seems to be very gung-ho on that Desert Treasure when I was speaking to them before the challenge started. 59 Hunter now. Okay, that definitely went up. I wonder what they were hunting. Do they do falconry all the way through? 57 thieving. What is it, 58 or 59 for grubbies? The amount of times I've done grubby keys, and I could literally never remember the exact level needed. These are about the same. Okay, 730 total level. Let's take a look at the bank. One mil, so they're just about double of what they were in the last time I checked in, 24 hours ago. Uh, only 26k cash. So where is all this money coming from? Probably a lot in those marks of grace. Those things are ridiculously expensive for the value of the bank. It's crazy. Okay. Are they chinning? Do they have chin plans? I'm going to assume they're going to go chin the spiders in the 4th Oast dungeon, but I could be wrong. I'm just totally speculating um, to try and get some pots from the grubby keys and i'm speculating that because of the 57 thieving that i currently see on the account that is awesome let's scroll through to see if anything else pops out at us but that looks like it might be it so i'll see you guys for the next update About to hit that 43 prayer mark and unlock all our protection prayers. Been going at this for about two and a half hours now, but this will definitely help with questing. And there we go. Protect from melee unlocked. Here again, just a quick update. About to hit our goal of 45 range so we can kill some red spiders with chinchampas and hopefully grab some grubby keys. Cool things. Knocked out Nature Spirit, easy quest. Knocked out in search of the Mikey, another easy quest. And we've got in aid of the Mikey started. We have access to Bertie Rot. We can get the bank there going. We can do barrows if slash when we manage to start that. And from there, we can also start. And here it is, six step clue, but every single one was doable. Let's see what we get. And you love to see it. You love to see it. Black dragon hide chaps. That's exactly what. We so I'm here with the Mortanium mole rats, and it is the end of day four, and they are with me in this call. And currently, I'm looking at the stats. So I see you got some range levels, a prairie level, some magic level. You're getting started on that rune crafting grind. Um, kind of nice and well-rounded stats. What you guys get up to today? I, I think the rune crafting ex or XP is actually from me doing Eyes of Gluffery because it was a free 12k magic XP. Also, Snowy has been grinding range the Hellhounds and he got a hard clue that he actually managed to finish. So we have black yeah, dragon hide chaps. Ooh, okay. I'll take a quick look at the bank. I'm skipping steps here, but let's take a look. Wow, you guys. Lit wow, okay. We, we got actual <laughs> okay. black hide. I always knew hard clues were the way to go. Great job, Snowy. <laughs> hard, hard clues also give us a chance at getting a magic short bow, which makes range training even easier. Is that is yep, is, so, is that a weapon on the agenda? Magic short bow. That it is now. Is, <laughs> it yeah. wasn't originally, but as we got to talking, that seems like that's going to be the best bet. Less yeah, the... for the fight, but like more for general training, and then we can get rune arrow, last man standing, and even maybe even do a fight cave through with it. Yeah, the bone crossbow doesn't quite hit as hard as it did for a lot of the earlier stuff, so now we need to get a little bit of a training upgrade. But ideally, we still want to go for the rune crossbow, which we do have the level to use Ibans at everything, but at this point, it's mostly just being money gated for upgrading Ibans, buying runes. Yeah, we also need to buy a dragon scimitar and the granite body from the barbarian assault we completed yesterday, so few 
yeah, high money items that we just need to grind out, but. 110k in the bank, that. looking pretty nice. Yeah. I think the current plan is if we can keep training combats and we can get both alkables and just like general cash drops, we're getting combat XP at the same time and making the money we need. Though I guess the last last ditch efforts are probably um, like thieving agility pyramid if we really have to, but hopefully it won't come down to that. Yeah. I see your quest points are 96. Is it really that high? That is high. You guys are going to end up with Barrow's Gloves by the end of this. Man is a quest 8 by day 6. <laughs> yeah, no, it's Fallen <laughs> Legends. We have two RFD subquests done. Yeah, two I was taking started. a look at that. Um, basically, the only thing we really need for Evil Dave is just soups and a cat. And then uh, we have everything but the crafting requirement for Pirate Pete. And theoretically, we can, I believe, do one or two other quests once we get uh, Chompy Hunting done, which is, shouldn't be a very long quest. It's just getting the stuff together. So what because gloves are you going for? Up legends, respectively. What's... I think uh, Addy? Uh, it'd be Barrows is Colormancer, so that'd go down to Dragon, Rune, so yeah, Addy. Yeah, Rune would require 70 cooking. Yeah. It, it could happen. <laughs> I, I just, we don't really think it's worth getting, like, 30 cooking levels for the sake of a plus one yeah. boost in stats, you know? So, Hurdy, I heard you're, you wanted to go for a fire cape. Has has the... Because that just seems like a pretty big commitment, not so much just with the fire cape itself, but getting ready for it and then actually doing it. Maybe you'd fail because you won't have the best stats. Just so, did I guess what, what I'm asking here really is, is the plan still the same from at the start of the account or did you guys like switch gear a little bit like what's the final fight looking like in your eyes when i first personally had a vision about this i didn't think we'd have a cape at all i didn't think i think we all kind of underestimated how much we'd have and i didn't think like a was even worth the time to go for thought we'd be that pressed but as we get on and the account develops um a fire cape really seemed like it could be on the guards and like is a really, really useful upgrade, both defensively and offensively. And everything we'd need for the fight caves, we're kind of going for passively already for the fight, like black hide, a room bow, a magic short bow. Mm -hmm. You know, so it's it's definitely very doable. And people have done the fight caves with a lot less, you know. People do it quite frequently, like a bone crossbow so this would be a step above that of a at least so what's the final fight looking like tribrid hybrid I think hybrid, from, I think. yeah from day one i think it's always been melee and range i think okay. the key here is going to be simplicity like there's a chance they might use iburn or they might use snares or stuff like that but i think no matter who's participating in the fight out of five of us the straight would we make the setup the better we're gonna do. Switch wise, the plan is to have a granite body, um, in case they go melee or range, a black dragon high body, if they go magic, um, and then crossbow, drag scimitar, dragon dagger. Sorted, you know? Nice. nice and simple. Right, I'm here with the missile and moo cows, and it is the end of day four. And guys, I'm taking a look at the account right now, just the stats, and I see things like 50 range, I see your hunter's gone up quite a bit. Herblore up a little bit. Um, looks like you guys are putting a lot of time into the account. Um, nearly 1.6 million XP so far in the account. 826 total level. Um, so kind of what did you guys do today? What's what's the current plan? And you guys are you guys happy with where everything is right now? I've um just got off the account before this, and today I was sending um Hunter after doing underground pass to unlock Ivans. Um, so the ultimate goal, still getting, um, desert treasure done. So what I thought today would be the best time I can spend is collecting as many chins as possible so that the boys can do the temple spiders, um, and get the grubby keys. Wow. 900 and the we, it's a lot. Yeah. 900. We've already sent 500, um, which they only take about, I think it's an hour per about 750 to send. So they really go quick. They take a lot longer to get, tell you that right now. Um, <laughs> so the getting the, the super restore from the grubby key chest is kind of important to our plan. 
because otherwise killing Camel in the Desert Treasure fight where he's constantly dropping your stats, unless you're a 99 mage at the start, you know, it's pretty difficult to drop him because um, his hits just constantly stack you out too. So you need high healing food. You probably need the sharks also, come to think of it, from that chest or just a sip or two of Sarah Brew even, which seems crazy to think of <laughs> wasting. Okay. We, we also did RFD up until... Uh, black gloves at the moment I yeah think. i saw Green that gloves. nice nice i saw um, animal magnetism was also done and the 50 yeah, range spent a lot of time getting that one up was it that was... sarcasm <laughs> <laughs> no i well it's because you're an iron man every little bit counts especially in the end fight if we could get some range strength and range uh, accuracy especially if they could get some just basic tanks items because it's like in the early game, it's really easy to stack range defense. And it's really hard to get past that. I mean, you remember the granite body fight. Oh, wow. <laughs> Thanks for bringing that up. Lacking like a rune crossbow, trying to rely on the bone crossbow. If we get a good, decent spec on it, it wouldn't be too bad, but... You can't oh, we're rely getting on a rune Dude, if you bring a bone cross to the final fight, crossbow. you're losing. I'm telling you right now. <laughs> <laughs> You're not bringing a bone cross for the final fights. Yeah. So are you guys overall satisfied with how the account's coming along? Do you think it was much quicker, slower than what you expected? Like, is everything on track? Mm, I wouldn't say it's, it's on... Slow. It's a little slower than we'd hoped. Okay. I think we've got some big grinds to come, but I think also recognizing that those early days, the questing and shit really takes your time out. So... Mm -hmm. That's very true. Hoping... Right? Like, if we can just sink literally, like, 70 hours of training into it, I'm pretty confident we're going to have some stacked levels. That's true. Like, and let's, true. Be, uh, let's be clear, too. Like, it's it's going slower than we had hoped, but if you were, like, it's it's going so much faster than I could have ever imagined it possibly yes. could if, you would have, if we were talking about this a week ago. Hey everyone, so Ben completely knocked it out of the park. He did like three hours of LMS and this is what we're left with. So I'm gonna quickly buy all the items that we need real quick. And one of those includes, where is it at? The granite body. So let's go ahead and snag that. Holy crap, there's the granite body. We can't wear it yet. Wait, we can't wear it yet. Oh, we need 50 defense. <laughs> okay, so 50 defense, and then we should be able to wear this, but this is great. This is the moment we've all been waiting for. Let's go ahead and purchase a dragon scimitar. This is huge. This is huge. Checking in to get another nice upgrade, the dragon dagger. Um, this means that we'll have a spec weapon for the fight. And from Temple Spiders, we've had a few weapon poisons. So if we can get some poison damage in and they're not prepared for it, then uh, that's gonna pay dividends throughout the fight. And here we have just hit 60 attack and that means at long last, we can wear the dragon scimitar and also the dragon dagger. Yes, so let's open it up. Yeah, could be better. And there it is. The very first grubby key feels really good only had to go four times the drop rate to uh to get it so it is what it is it's not too bad i guess all right last 15 chins um i think i started with like 1200 for this session uh, started getting more keys we've got four so far uh, hopefully we can get a fifth and then we're gonna go ahead and open them all up and i can feel it we're gonna open them all up we're gonna get some super restores we're gonna get some brews this is all gonna be worth it we threw all the chins that we had in the bank just through around 1200 i think uh topped out at 681 temple spiders killed and only four keys so our RNG evened out a little bit, but we're still definitely dry. We should have like six to seven keys by now. So without further ado, let's see what we get. Ah, uh, 
That's that's okay. That's all right. Ah man. All right, not the end of the world. Oh man. All right. All right. We got one key left. Um, at least we got some prayer pots out of that one. All right, super stores, please, 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 come on. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. There we go, all right, all right. That feels really, really good to be able to get those. That is big, that is huge, that's huge, that's huge, that's huge. We really needed that. The end of day five for the Missilin moves. If we take a look at the quest points, they actually haven't changed since yesterday so that means that there is no more recipe for disaster completed and desert treasure is also still not done yet but i do want to see the wrecks i want to see how close they are because i didn't actually check yesterday temple of ikov okay and 50 fire making that's not too much to go for i know they need the u bow we can check to see if they have that in a sec a u or better i should say um but let's take a look at the stats Okay, I guess they're not really focusing too much on melee. I feel like if they were, they'd put a lot more effort into that. There's only two more days left. Looks like they're going that range and magic hybrid. Very interesting combination. 59 range, they are nine range levels higher. Still 60 magic. So yeah, I mean, it must be. They're probably gonna still go for that freezing plan. Uh, they try to walk underneath and E and then range, I mean, I'd love to see how they really pull that off, but they could have a whole plan that I am just totally unaware of. Um, I've never really fought my fights like that, but then again, I'm usually fighting Link, who, you know, isn't the toughest opponent. <laughs> 73 Hunter, I'm expecting to see a lot of chins. I'm expecting to see a lot of chins in the bank. Um, from 64 to 73 Hunter, I want to say that gets you more than nine range levels, but I could be wrong. I don't really chin the low levels. I never really chin period. So we, we will take a look at that. The other stats haven't really seemed to change too much. A few wood cutting, some fire making, 50 fire making won't take long at all to of course get, but they are 11 levels away. All right, looking good overall. Let's take a look at the bank. 3.75 mill 242k cash that's looking really nice let's scroll through and see if anything really stands out at us okay so these they can't use in the fight but you know you could definitely use them in the wildy for training i believe they actually want to go for the packs in the wilderness those spell packs to train that might be a way they could trade magic and get some money they do have a sinister key interesting thought that was a grubby that's the wrong color that's the wrong color. I believe they did say they had black gloves. Um, I don't know if they just haven't gotten it yet. Uh, Ring of Life's interesting. I think that is from some impling, actually. 1.2k chinchampas. Let me just uh, take all these out and release them real quick. No, <laughs> I'm kidding. Oh, they, they were joking about that yesterday. So um, I would never do such a thing. How cruel would that be? Um, they got the Dragon Dagger. I don't think I saw that yesterday. Uh, yeah, okay. So they really have been opening up a lot of Implings. I really want to know if they got that U Bow, because I know you can get one from an Impling. I think it's a young Impling. You get a U Longbow, I think Jumbo was saying. And there it is. They do have it, because you need to shoot the Ice Arrows. Yes, I, I really want to see the DT plan because the other team isn't going for DT, as we all know at this point. So I am really, really, really hoping they can pull it off and get a decent magic level. And I just really want to see how this, this plays out. I'm really excited. Logging in to the Mortania Mole Rats, and the first thing I notice is the Power Ami. It also looks like they just completed a clue. I mean, the purple sweets give it away. And that looks like a very similar loot to the other clue loot that I saw in the bank as well. Let's take a look at the stats. They have a few defense levels, a few range levels, a few magic levels. And everything is looking pretty much... Ooh, nope. Thieving's higher. That's got to be grubby keys. They got to be going for grubby keys. Isn't it 57 or 58 or something? Either way, they're close. They might be boosting it even. So maybe they do have the level already. And everything is looking 
Everything is looking quite rounded. Not much training from either accounts yet. A lot have been super quest focused for a lot of their XP. So I'm really wondering how many hours both teams are actually going to allocate towards just straight training at Sand Crabs, Rock Crabs, Nightmare Zone. That one might be a bit far-fetched, but Ammonite Crabs maybe. A lot of crabs. Uh, but let's take a look at the bank. I'm excited. If they've been doing clues, 2.6 mil. So both teams definitely have different strats. And it's really showing. Now, not that one's better than the other, because maybe the other team, I guess aside from runes, I don't really know if they need a lot of money. I know yesterday the mole rats were saying they wanted a lot of money for their plan. And it looks like they sort of have that money. Um, let's give a quick scroll through. That's a lot of cash, though. And there's a rune plate body in the inventory still. Um, they got the crossbows. They are, they are making insane progress. Look at that. Wow. Yup. I mean, again, Alkables, they have the granite plate body. They have the dragon scimitar and it's crazy. It's crazy because they don't even have the levels to, you know, wield this stuff. So again, I'm really curious to see how much time both teams allocate with training. That's going to be huge. Let's take a look at quests. 101 quest points. They actually do want to come down uh, just briefly. I want to take a look at Recipe for Disaster specifically. Um, I know they said they wanted to go for Addy Glove, so a little bit off that. But, um, you know, it looks like they are making steady progress. So, went off to Crazy Arc. Did an RCB. First kill, malediction shard. I um, I had to log out and walk away. And funny, it's happened to me three times now. Unfucking real. Second malediction shard, seven KC. I'm just gonna go bank this, <clears throat> and maybe scream in a dark room. And with the help of Kodarashi, that is one diamond down for Desert Treasure. Not gonna lie, pretty easy. And the Shadow Dime. Alright, and with this next attack, we should have the Blood Diamond secured. Or not. Thank you, one. All right, and on that front, we killed him. So we can go turn in this and get the blood diamond. All right, this was uh, much easier. Yeah, it's a lot easier when he doesn't fight back. Finally! Oh my god. It took me forever how many times i failed i West, probably lost Venus. count but that is desert treasure here we are again got five more keys after throwing 1500 chins um hopefully we can have some good luck we're still just looking for brews and restores okay Ah, all right. Still need to do Crazy Archaeologist. Um, and then after that, we could probably spend some time catching and throwing chins. But, you know, that's a lot to do in 30 hours. Uh, so, this could be our last shot. I don't know. Let's, let's see. That's not good. That's not good. All right, all right. Once again, the final key pulls through. We got some brews and a little bit of restore. Once more, we've got a hard casket. Biggest thing we want, magic short bow, but honestly, a lot of good stuff. Let's have a look. Now that, that is what I would call the perfect range clue. Okay, key number one. Okay, not bad. We've got sharks. We're going to use them. A first set of prayer pots. So we'll drop some stuff and we'll try again. 
Sorry, Toad Flax. And a ranging potion. That's awesome. Okay. Okay, next three. Let's hope we get some prayer pass or poos. A prayer potions. That's great. More <laughs> prayer potions. Okay, this is going good. Let's drop some eggs. <laughs> I mean, battle two. Nope, but prayer pots are good. Again. Mm, okay. Nah, no bruise this time. Okay, we only have four keys left. Alright, here we go. No. No. Okay, not looking too good so far. Two more keys. Come on, we can believe. We can dream. We're dreamers. Oh no, one more. Okay, so no bruise, that's not too good. So after a series of mishaps about forgetting to raise a cat that involved us doing Evil Dave with a kitten, we now have the spicy stew. And with that, uh, this is actually the last uh, subquest that we're doing for Recipe for Disaster. The other two require 70 cooking and legends quests respectively, meaning that we would just be spending too much time to get them done. But with this, we'll be getting adamant gloves, which should give us a pretty solid bonus in the final fight. I, I logged on and of course Hurdy is uh, is here being being incredibly weird, being incredibly weird. I haven't looked at the stats yet, but I'm very excited to because the gear just looks incredible. They they are absolutely smashing it. Uh, looks like they're probably trading range at the sand crabs. So let's see the range level first. And it, it has gone up six levels. I noticed their attack has gone up six levels. Um, these levels pretty much the same. There's a few extra levels they gained, a few agility, one thieving. Um, yeah, okay, these are pretty much the same. A few cooking levels. Okay, okay, I mean, but they are getting their stats up. It looks like, again, they are now training. Let's take a look in the bank. 3.3 mil bank value. How do they have over 1k rune arrows? Are they... They're training with rune arrows? How the heck... How did you get so many rune arrows? Are they buying it? Because they're, they're so expensive. Wow. Okay. Let's take a quick look through the bank. Look at these guys. Okay, they're killing dragons. Wow. <laughs> That's going to be a flex in the fight. I guess there's no way they don't bring that. Unless one of the teams has revs on their mind. Probably no barrows. I don't think they're going to be rushing 70 defense or anything, but... Maybe they have dragon plans, but if not, that's going to be such a flex. Yeah, they've been killing the uh, clue scrolls. Wow. <laughs> Look at this tab. You know what? Let's just isolate it. Look at that tab. That's crazy. Um, yeah, they don't have the level for the black dehyde yet. They, they're, they're, they're pretty ready. They, they look like they're pretty ready to go. That's crazy. That's crazy. And then just herbs and stuff. Oh yeah, duh! I can't believe I didn't clock that. All from, all from LMS. Okay, that yeah, that makes complete sense. We're gonna take a quick look at the quests. They did get 11 quest points. I'm going to assume that is gonna be pretty much all from getting the Addy gloves, which we did see on the account already. So yeah, nice. All right, guys, 24 hours to go, and they'll be ready. And they'll be ready for that final fight. All right, so we're taking a look at the stats at the Missile and Moot Cows on day six. But before we actually get into that, as you can already see it, I've already taken a sneak peek at the quests. I was way too excited. We'll start at the top. They've done Desert Treasure. As you can see, they've gone to 100. I run, did I go past it? That's awkward. Desert Treasure is complete. Now, the other team isn't going down this route. So yes, I am extremely excited to see both teams doing two completely different strategies. We'll get to the stats in a second. I'm a little worried they might not have enough time to get all the stats they want, but Desert Treasure is complete and two different strats. Super pumped about that. What else I want to check here? 
is rest before disaster. Now, they said they had black gloves. They only have steel in the bank, at least as of yesterday. Rest before disaster. I think that's black gloves still off the top of my head. I mean, they might just... I just... Okay. Whoops. Um, we just type in gloves real quick. Steel. Uh, I mean, they said they're at black. I don't know if they're just mistaken or maybe they actually are and just haven't gotten it. I don't know. Um, but okay, they got DT done. That's that's what I really wanted to see. And I'm really happy they, they finally got it done. That's awesome. Looks like they just completed Monkey Madness as well. So let's take a look at the stats. Okay, so got up a little bit in attack, a little bit in strength, a little bit of defense. Quite a bit in range. Five levels for range. One level for magic. Prayer is the same. One level in Hunter. I'm assuming they're not going to focus so much on Hunter right now. They're just going to kind of full send range. I'm, I'm only guessing here. Um, we'll check in a sec if they have any chins. But compared to yesterday, I mean, unless they didn't send their chins yet. But they probably did because the range is up quite a bit. Um, so I'm going to assume they're not going to have much chins. I mean, they're willing to bone crossbow. I don't know what they just were doing. But probably going to be a case of just hardcore training at this point. Quests are done. And just want to kind of round out those stats as best as possible. Um, so let's see if any major stats have changed for the skilling. Little different, but really eight wood kind of levels. Oh, that was probably the fire making. Yep. Okay. Cause yep, they got DT done. That makes sense. Let's take a look at the bank. So yesterday they had 3.75 mil up here. And I want to say they probably just threw their chins which is my mindset here you know what? we'll just jump the gun here oop that's not how you spell chin so they threw all of their chins they had like 1.2k red chins yesterday so keep that in mind so even though lower bank value that's all sent that was those five range levels so that was that five range levels that we just saw um let's see if anything really stands out to us which i'm assuming they just grinded hunter sent the chins did desert treasure but let's see if anything really grabs our attention here. Um, not really, but I mean, still really solid progress. I mean, they're going down a different route from the other team. So, ooh, ooh, I like to see those. I really like to see those. So they're LMSing. They, do they have, is it Runeite or is it Rune? Doesn't matter because they don't have it. They don't have the Rune Crossbow yet. I mean, they can wield it. They're waiting till the last day to get the rune crossbow, which is a bit nerve wracking. 24 hours is plenty of time. Hello. So there are five hours left in the PVP challenge. And you may be wondering what I'm doing in all this gear. This is pretty much the gear we're going to bring to the fight. However, there is one more item that I really want to get on the account, and that is a fire cape, um, which would be an amazing both melee and ranged cape. Uh, it gives defensive and offensive bonuses to all styles, a bit of prayer. I feel like Theater of Blood is a lot less um, gear dependent and more ability dependent. Like, if you know what you're doing, if you know how to avoid all of the attacks, then you can avoid a lot of the damage. I need to be very, very careful here because most of the bosses in the Fidra Blood, in fact, I think all of them hit higher than my max health, which is currently 65. So I do need to be extra, extra safe when I'm in there. Um, however, I am looking to do the whole Fidra Blood. We're not going to be doing any boosting. I don't think that's fair. We won't be just doing Maiden and Bloat and then leaving. We're going to do the whole thing. And unlike Swampletics, we're actually going in with a rune crossbow, so we should be absolutely fine. You ready to say hello to my little friend? I oh, am. Yeah. <laughs> Just unlock music track. Welcome to the theater. <laughs> <laughs> hey. There he is. <laughs> oh, you should be fine. You shouldn't have um, any problem <sighs> getting points. Honestly, <laughs> I think we're perfect. I think, if anything, you guys should be afraid, but we'll be the MVP. True, uh, that's true, that's true, that's true. <laughs> Oh, even got a tank body. Yeah, <laughs> mate, we ain't playing it. Ready? <laughs> Boom! Oh, Boom! Yeah, exactly. then, uh... Warning, fear of blood is dangerous. Yep. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> That's point. Here we go! Oh my god, I'm actually just hitting zeros. What the hell, man? <laughs> DDS? DDS? Come on? 
It's right, I got you, I got you, I got you. <laughs> oh I got oh you, my god, I'm hitting nothing. Wow, it's almost like this content was made for Max Mains. It's okay, we're playing it safe, that's the important thing. Nailed it. Come on. Easy. Ah, uh, no, I'm not. Jeez, I'm not. EDS go. I hit a six. <laughs> what? Oh, I was That's... fine, but I panicked Tick 8 anyway. Saw that preemptive Ticky. <laughs> that stomp can't kill you, buddy. Yeah, I'm fully aware of what that stomp <laughs> could <can> do. <laughs> I don't even have enough prayer points to really pray. <laughs> you know what, change my mind. Prayer's going on. Eat an egg potato right now. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> One tile earlier than you can. Are we actually gonna. True. Yeah, we are. Okay, yeah. nice. Yeah. I did 80 damage in that room. Okay, oh, th yeah. this is the one I'm really scared of, honestly. I saw that cheeky one shot. Yeah, maybe. See this? See this guy? See, see. Boom! Headshot. <laughs> 11. <laughs> That's double digits, maybe. Oh! Could be good. I feel so unsafe. Ooh. I wasn't scared, you were scared. I'm terrified. <laughs> oh my god, we made it through Nilo! <laughs> Hey. Oh, okay, that was one I was the most scared of. Oh, yes! Uh, it's me, me, and I got a 34 with uh, Dragonstone Vaults. Oh, e e uh, every I single know. room just gives me so much relief for it to be over. <laughs> that should be well, enough. Seems like you have to melee this room from now on. Yeah. Oh, 35, that's what we're talking about. What was that? 36! Ooh. Oh, woof! I'm actually That'd getting back-to-back -back Dragonstone Bolt Specs. I don't want to be on that side. Oh, why am I there? <laughs> 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 Are we ready? <laughs> come on, come on, come on. You got this. Okay, super attack, super strength, super defense. <laughs> I'm even going to pray a range for you, Hurty. Thanks, same, because I get one hit if I don't. But you, you can do what you want. I I have faith in you. Very nice. Ah, uh, oh, early. <laughs> Guys, I know what this needs. Don't you worry about a thing. <laughs> <laughs> I hit zero zero. <laughs> I hit zero thirteen in bed. Oh well, not bad, not bad. It's me, it's me. Okay, bounce. Someone st bounce. I'm following. Ooh. <sighs> Worth it for the leech. Hey, I have two health. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Look at the dead paper! Jesus. GL, GL. Oh, oh, never nice. lucky. Yeah, What's lucky. the point? Mori Mole's MVP. Yeah. <laughs> Mori Mole's. Dude! <laughs> well, I genuinely cannot believe it happened, but we have done one of Theater of Blood, Casey. <laughs> Ah, never lucky. Never purple oh, nude. What the hell? Number anything. two. <laughs> <Never>. <sighs> hey. That's okay. Oh, I need clue. Hell yeah. I'll More take than it. fine. So I want to make sure that I don't get into the habit of trying to aggressively pick up rune arrows, as I feel like that's the sort of thing that will kill me. And I also want to have as much space as I can away from the bats. I'm not really not sure how far my prayer will last. I'm sure this is more than enough. Swear to god, this right here. My favorite safe spot in the game. Using one of the little blobs. Oh, defense is so low. It's so scary to kill these guys. Really underestimated the fight caves. They have been destroying me. 60 defense is not enough for this. I hate this. I've been in this cave for two and a half hours. The longest I'd spent in here before now was like an hour. Oh, and we're past the difficult bit, the flicking, but like... Just the fact one prayer means you're gone. Like one false flick or like... Oh my god. Combat task? There we go. <laughs> we're done. Collection log slot completed. Mori Moles has a fire cape. So, uh, <laughs> hello, it's me again. 
There are five minutes left in the challenge, and I made a fatal mistake. We have a fire cape, however I used the ranging pot we were going to bring to the fight to do it. Um, so at the moment I am desperately killing baby red dragons to try and get a grubby key. Please, please give us a ranging pot. Make up my terrible mistake. Okay, number one. Yes! Yes! Come on. yes. <laughs> okay, we're there. We're there. No, no. Let's go! Where it, where it mattered! Oh my god! Hey everyone, Mana Burn here. Quick update. I'm just gonna open these three books, and this should take us to 70 magic, which is our goal for the final fight. And three. 70 magic. There we go. We got him. We got the rune crossies. We're fucking out of here. I'm trying some mage. Um, maybe go to Derange Dark. Killing the shit. I am fucking stoked. Gotta go buy rune legs and get a, a good dehyde top. Oh my god, we finally got it. Oh my god, it only took 58 kills, but here's a red dehyde body. Oh my god, we just got it. The water battle staff. Enchanting battle staffs. That water battle staff? Yeah. Now that is a mystic staff. Sweet. So here we go. Come on, Sarah Bros. Eh. Kind of a dog shoot one. We're not going to use literally anything from that, I guess. So, a bit unfortunate, but oh well. All right. We've just got um another grubby cake. So we'll just pop these away, which should get us a prayer level. I just finished In Search of Knowledge earlier for 10k prayer XP. That, that was a good little boost. Um, yeah, we will be hitting, what, 48 prayer just here. We've got two hours, 15 minutes left on the challenge. Um, pop this grubby K. If we get more Sarah Brews, man, I'm going to be laughing. Sharks will be good to see. Although I don't think we're going to need them. I think we've got enough already. I just got two fucking grubby keys back to back. So we're pretty stoked about that. Ranging pot. That's exactly what we wanted. We've got everything we need. Yeah, nice to have, but didn't need it. Um, Bloods, I guess, for the account in some way, shape or form. All right. I didn't have the right type of food. I've got gnome food and the prick wants fish, vegetables or some other thing. So we'll do this grubby key. Fucking Sarah Brews, come on. Yes! Three Sarah Brews going in this fight. All the prayer pots we want. I'm I'm feeling friggin' good. Let's go! We're on the Mortini Mole Rats after day seven, and I really gotta hand it to this team. The fire cape, the granite body, um, the Tazar shield, the dragon simi, um, especially the fire cape. I know I already mentioned that, but that that's just a really impressive um goal that you know they had and they fucking have done it so really really impressed there um their combat level is going to be a lot higher than the other team because the this team is melee based melee always has a lot more combat levels on magic and range so i'm not really going to factor in the combat too much here because they are only 60s at the end of the day but that is still very very high especially paired with that 70 range looks like they're not going magic at all they are going for this switch here um alongside the dragon dagger spec as well they do have the anti-fire the other team i believe does not have that um they are bringing a lot of pots though which i mean look i've never been the best pker so if i was doing this i wouldn't bring them but if, if you know what you're doing it's definitely worth bringing for sure they do have those two brews they are bringing the super anti-poison as well uh they do have the two recoils and yeah guys be set up be set up and let's see i want to see their magic defense in this gear right here 38 obviously if that goes on it's going to be much higher it is at the end of day seven and the missile and moo cows are ready for that final fight they are going range to magic hybrid the rune crossbow the dragonstone bolts enchanted 
their gear, wearing some runes, some red dehyde. They do have the magic switch as well. And it looks like they are going to be going Ice Burst. They only have 70 magic. I say only, like that's not very high, but they will have some freezes. Very interested to see exactly, you know, how they approach the fight. Probably going to freeze, walk underneath. Um, they have some brews. They're going to be a bit tanky for sure. 54 defense though, not the highest defense. Um, and, and as we can see, of course, they're not going melee at all, but they do have the 66 range. They do have the Dragonstone Bolts Enchanted, and they do have two recoils, and of course, tons of food on top of that. They are 68 combat, and let's take a look at their hours played. Six days, 12 hours. 68 combat. This is going to be a good fight. I'm really excited. So it is officially the end of day seven for both teams. And we are here with the Mortanium Mole Rats and the Missilin Moo Cows. Now that is not me. I know it looks like me, but we have the Mori Moles on the left and Beef Boy 14 on the right. Hello, I am Mori Moles. Uh, we are combat level 77. Uh, we have 60 attack, 60 strength, 60 defense. Very exciting, I know. 70 ranged. 52 prayer, 53 magic, 66 health, and of course, 5 herb lore. <laughs> uh, we have 906 total level, and we have done 112 quest points. We have 50 attack, 43 strength, 54 defense, 66 range. Sadly, we only have 49 prayer. We were really hoping for 52, but it just mm -hmm. didn't happen. Uh, 70 magic, 59 health, and a whopping 17 herb lore. Why are we reading off herb lore? <laughs> Why, Why are you reading off herb lore? It's it's um, oh, come on. We all know you guys both did grubby keys. It's not a secret okay, strat. So, you know, so come I, on, guys. Can I kind of had a feeling that with Jumbo at the helm, like, it would, like, go down and magic, maybe some cheeky, like, entangles, but I'm not entirely sure what spell book you guys are on and i'm excited to <laughs> necklace you're going necklace first <laughs> so we have got an anguish now i'm kidding we got, <laughs> um, an amulet of power uh so i'm gonna assume you have a rune crossbow but that's not my question my you question... guys can't call weapon that early on <laughs> no 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 no, no. hide right. that hide that what that, <laughs> guys okay, okay, have yeah, you ever watched a question. pvp challenge that's ever not... <laughs> okay body Body, let's see body. You body. guys are absolutely killing me here. Hey, uh, that I feel like an imp. No, it does an impling drop that. Crazy arc does. Crazy, Crazy arc, yeah, that's right. One in thirty-two. Uh, buckle up, kids. You ain't ready for this. Ah <laughs> oh, shit! <laughs> I saw it coming. I saw it coming. We thought about it. We thought about it. Oh, we know but, uh, who did that I, for them. I'm, I may have two bodies. Do I show my other body? Uh, you don't have to Please. show it yet. But if you want to, right. it's up to you. If I, no, right, honestly. So, okay. Right. I, Keep it a surprise. I'm, yeah, I thought, oh, I thought so. Okay. Uh, fortunately, we also have another body. Okay. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, right. We got right. very lucky with clues. All right, guys. Let's see some legs. What are you guys rocking the leg slot? <laughs> okay. So yeah, I can kind of like see where this is going. Um, could I make a call on boots? I feel like you've got Mystic boots on, right? Yeah. If you guys want to go, much you want to bet? How much you want to bet on this? Oh my god. Or you brought snake skin from ninjas. One of the two. Oh, okay. Okay. This man's got a little bit of melee on him. So we went the same way. Nice and easy. Death plateau. Nothing surprising there. What about glove slot? Both teams have went down the RFD route. I'll say that. Yeah. Oh. How many quest points did you guys have again? 112. How many we did you get? 118. Ooh, Ooh oh, you guys. He just wanted to flex that so hard. Yeah. <laughs> I can I'm, tell. I'm How terrified. many are you joking again? <laughs> okay, well, you have, you have 45 cooking, so I can't see you getting any more than like Addy, right? 
about right. these glove reveals. Yeah, gloves. I'll, you guys I'll, are really I'll nursing win. these gloves. I go. Yeah, we, we put our we put our boots on first. So three. Okay. Two. I'll go first. One. Oh. Hey. Uh, oh, Flex the higher quest points, but has the lower tier gloves. <gasps> Get wrecked. I want to know what you've got in your cape slot. MA1. Oh, you've gone at Ava's. Okay. Gentlemen. Jesus. Hey. <laughs> Let's go. I was really planning on doing that, but we kind of ran out of time. This was my contribution to the, the account, and I really underestimated this. I went in thinking, okay, it'll be fine. You know, we've got all the gear. You know, we've got 70 range and all that. But as soon as I got to the 360s for majors, it took, it was a two and a half hour fight cave. I had to flick the entire thing. Like holding protect from mage on for one of the cat's X was two prayer potions already down. It was terrifying and I, I barely made it honestly, but there it is. It's a big flex. Yeah, that, that, that is a massive flex. That's, that's, and, a, that's a big deal. And also yeah. I kind of thought in case you went magic, mage defense would be nice and this has a very juicy mage defense on it it does let's see the helm you guys rocking in the helm slots i bet you they've got a nate what do you got you've got a nezzy right we went <laughs> oh <laughs> yeah okay but the rune med helm isn't a bad shout anymore like since the update <laughs> yeah it's taken bad. away it's the a little better off. it's a little better yeah what have you got in your ring slot uh so we have a recoil same here jumbo got us that i have no idea how and you both have extra recoils right i do yeah we've got another nice any cool shield yeah. flexes yeah go on before i have a huge shield flex you know it doesn't get any better <laughs> Ooh, that's <laughs> a magpie impling if i ever saw it <laughs> we have a cooler shield oh man all right it's That's got good, good range defense on that. It's like plus 65, oh, I think. Yeah. It's pretty it's much a granite a shield with a strength um, bonus. Um, we got a granite shield. Uh, Robin got that first KC at Ice Trolls. I, Peace. Okay, so I got all set up to do Ice Trolls. Like, I got all of the food, all the gear set up, looked for a safe spot and everything. First kill. <laughs> just, I just. I wish I had that there. luck on PvP challenges. Yeah. Doubt. Do you guys have a shield switch, or are you going to just camp that you think you're gonna unequip it we're camping this and i expect to keep it on just, does it have just any suffer the the negative range i think it's negative range right it is negative eight ranged uh but no magic penalties in terms of defense weapons <sighs> the thing that everybody's been waiting for so can i make a guess on what you've got beef boy you can make a guess. I don't know if you're going to guess right. Oh, no. Okay, <laughs> well... I... I don't think you'll go ancient stuff. I think... Maybe you're going to go for one of the... I was either thinking, like, fire battle stuff or one of the mage arena stuffs, as well as a rune crossbow. Let's see, let's see your uh, rune crossbow. That's what I want to see. Show me the rune crossbow. Boom. There it is. Of course. Right. Yeah. No hesitation. Oh, look at that. <laughs> he waited, he waited. Oh, that's beautiful. Nobody, nobody asked if I had a second uh, <laughs> set of legs. <laughs> Wait, uh, now hold on. So what bolts do you guys have? We probably went down exactly the same route as you, and we did a lot of last man standing. And we got Dragonstone bolts. Yep. All right. We did the same. Did <laughs> oh! Mystic, a Mystic Water Staff. Hey, that saves an inventory spot. It's not as bad yeah, as it no. seems, and, right? <laughs> and and it's not it's not a regular one. It's a Mystic one. We have one of a weapon. We we went traditional here. Dragon Simi. And and a DDS. All That's right. more than one other weapon. Yeah, that was yeah, a big debate. One, one main weapon, one, one spec. <laughs> this will be fun. Let's do it. All right, it's potting. You guys can pot. Sit right. <laughs> Good luck. Give it your worst. Shit, sorry. Am I 
that long range? Where did he do this? Oh, there he is. There's the cheeky long range. Nice bolt. I have a run turned off. Wait. Dude, my, my ping on this world is making the hits look so cool. A tad weird, but it is what it is. I think I finally understand some of the suspense in PvP videos. You just kind of sit there and watch. <laughs> <laughs> we need like the music bot, like the music <laughs> in here. This is intense. <laughs> oh, fuck off! Is that a grant? Yeah, yeah, that, that is. is. That is past. <laughs> Ooh, he's kind of hitting through that dehyde right, a little bit. you were bit. here for the, the reveal. Little risk there on Hurdy's end. Sorry if you get in the way. We won't move. Oh, zero zero spec off prayer. I'm so pissed. Oh Come no! On. <laughs> As is the way of the That's dragon dagger. Dragon dagger for you. Oh, yes. No, that didn't work. I thought he called the phrase. Fuck my lag. <laughs> okay, John. I love, to, okay. I love just the delayed Oz ping. <laughs> Five minutes later. <laughs> They're off. They like straight just took off. This is where this is where the accounts rebel like and kill Ace the other dragons people. by the time they finish. That's my biggest fear. Ooh. You got this. Ooh. Anyone been keeping track of food? Because I have not. No. No. Although it will be on the video. sounds moles make? They go moo, Robin. They go moo. Do they, though? Do the moles say moo? Ooh. Ooh. The bait. Oh. Is so oh, intense. the staff bash, and that is a mystic staff. So, oh, you meant that? What are you talking about? Ooh, Hurdy's taking his prayer off. Ooh. Oh no! Ooh. Okay. Oh, oh, that's two shots. You just delayed it. Feel good, rookies. Oh, oh right. Yes. All right, range. So down. He's got no gear on. Fucking hit him. <laughs> the scariest part is thinking that one like dragonstone proc. That's exactly what I thought. <laughs> yeah. Although I think I saw you guys have an anti, didn't you? Yeah, we've got the anti. But you know, I'm getting smacked by it. They are both uh, everywhere. <laughs> right? They are. And some random dude just runs oh up and God. starts collecting the bolts. Speaking of... You're good elk. Oh no, dude. Don't tell me. Oh. Hurdy, if you run out of bolts... I'm out. The bolts Oh no. Out. Oh no. They're literally all over the floor. Bolt break. <laughs> it looks like they're all picking up bolts right now. Yeah, I, no, I've got none. I've literally got none. Oh no. Okay, oh. we got some ruins for you if you want those. <sighs> okay, got a couple. Oh, no. 
Oh, Rookies, have you, have you run out there? Yeah, nah. we, we've been running around way too much. It's that Ancients, man. It shouldn't be that bad since we have the Apes, though, so that's good at least. Yeah, oh, yeah. We camped Avis the whole time. We should be fine. Come on. Don't have your, have your super fire down and just take the proc. Come on. <laughs> I think it's only oh. proc'd once. It was like super early in the fight, right? Yeah, it was super, super early. It hit as well. This guy's not with us, has it? Chasing him. <laughs> no, Jumbo. You're too young. <laughs> just pressure. Just put pressure on people and they usually Ooh, oh. Oh, crumble. Uh oh. Is Beef Boy out? Oh. Beef is Boy, Beef no. Boy, is Beef Boy out? I need pressure freeze. <laughs> Beef Boy, no. And does Hurdy oh, no. have any bolts left? No. What <gasps> is happening? He's not oh, running. No, oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, good fight, guys. Oh, <laughs> the oh, Mori Moles. How I have much no food? bolts on me. No bolts, no food. Oh my god, you have health. no food. No. Run inside. Just run inside quickly. <laughs> oh my I god. I want to see <laughs> the replay <laughs> of how many times I splashed off prayer at the oh. end there. That was rough. Congrats, oh, the mole rats. Oh. Oh. Good job, guys. Dude, that, I really thought man, I lost my rookies. Incredible hurts. job, dude. That was that so close. You too. You too. Yeah, that, those <laughs> that was were... incredibly close. Uh, Who's taking the gear? Don't yoink their shit. No! Don't, don't, don't yoink their stuff. Don't yoink their stuff. Jumbo, I see <laughs> you running. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't I'm worried someone it. else is going to stand yeah. around it. That's true. <laughs> it's, 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 Can let's, B-Boy get back here in time, though? Just, we'll just guard like, it. Just don't pick it up. Oh, here he, is. here he is. Here he is. Here he is. Here he is. Beef boy. Beef boy. <laughs> <laughs> Beef boy. <laughs> oh, we need to I think he tried to. Yeah. Hey, boy. A massive congratulations is in order for the Mauritania mole rats, and uh, they all win 50 mil GP each. I mean, I'm honestly saying it out loud doesn't really seem like that much money for a week worth of grinding. But it is between five people, the grinding, not the 50 mil. <laughs> Imagine they only got 10 mil each. <laughs> That's that'd be. That <laughs> That'd be cruel. The, that's what the losing team got. Anyways, they signed up for it. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. And a massive, massive thank you to everybody who participated. It was a massive ask. But if you guys did enjoy the video, please let me know if you want to see more like this. We can continue these accounts. We can create new accounts, longer amounts of time, less time. We can set the parameters to be very different. There is a ton of content that can be created with this format. So if you guys did enjoy, like, comment, subscribe, and I will catch you all in the next one.